Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobe and welcome to the Corn School. Today I'm at the Allure Research Station and I am joined by Olivia Nornberg from Pride Seeds. How's it going? Good, how are you, Bern? I'm great, I'm great. Hey, now you are a market agronomist for Pride Seeds, but you're also working on your graduate studies at the University of Guelph and with a focus on this here project, you know, how to establish corn after cereal rye. Um, I want to dig into that today. So tell us about the research. You know, what are you hoping to learn? How, how is it set up here? Awesome, thank you. So what we're looking to do here is we've heard a lot about rye and allelopathy. One thing that hasn't really been investigated though is light. So we know that um, neighboring vegetation such as weeds, there's been work done in the weed science lab at the University of Guelph, can have an effect on corn establishment. So what we're looking to do here is maybe quantify that with cereal rye and try and use different strategies to mitigate um, potential decreases in light quality that can be seen from cereal rye. So the way that we're doing that here is we're evaluating three different things. We're evaluating different herbicides to use for termination timing. So looking at a fast acting herbicide such as glufosinate versus uh, slower acting herbicides such as glyphosate, which is used by many farmers. Um, seeing if we can get the rye terminated quicker so that we're not having that low quality light from green neighboring vegetation. Right. Another thing that we're looking at is a cereal uh, rye planting pattern. So one thing is we did two different types of planting patterns. One was in the traditional seven and a half inch uh, row. So we call that our solid seeded treatment. And the other was in a twin row uh, rye arrangement where we'd have two rye bands then we'd skip two rows of rye and that's where we would plant the corn and then two more uh, rye bands. So looking if we can have that spatial separation and if that'll have an impact and maybe allow the corn to germinate quicker uh, and have some more space. Right. Uh, and the last thing that we were looking at is termination timing. So we looked at four different termination timings. We looked at two weeks before planting, one week before planting, a day before planting, and then a week after planting. So seeing how long we can maybe push that termination right. timing, depending on what your goals are as an operation, whether, uh, we, because we want to maximize biomass, that's ultimately a goal uh, for sustainable agriculture, right? So can we delay it by using all these different factors to still not have a yield decrease and get the best corn that you can right, grow. Right. So hey, let's talk about what you're learning, what you're seeing here. Um, when it comes to weed control and biomass, what are all these plots telling you? Uh, so what we're seeing is that when termination's done later, so let's say one day before planting to one week after planting, that's where we're seeing uh, maximizing your biomass and you're getting maximized weed control, which can be beneficial for those weeds that are hard to control yep. and that may become maybe herbicide resistant. So it's that additional mode of action also. Um, but what we're also looking at from a yield standpoint, if yield is the ultimate goal of your operation, you're gonna maybe want to terminate 14 days before planting to a day before planting. Just so we're maximizing yield, we're not getting those nitrogen uh, decreases. Um, that's what we're seeing basically on a time, yeah. timeline. Talk about uh, that, that planting pattern now. What, what is that telling you um, when it comes to, uh, you know, a twin row, for example, and how that compares to other things? Right, so in the twin row planting arrangement, uh, we did see that there was a higher light quality uh, received by the corn plants, which is beneficial. And we did see a benefit um, yield wise at certain locations. There's still, I would still like to have some more data. We're doing two more field trials this year. So collect some more data on that. Uh, but one thing that you're maybe sacrificing with the twin row planting arrangement is weed control. We did get better weed control when we did that solid seeded treatment. Yeah. So what's the best uh, pattern? From, from what you're seeing here? I think it depends on, again, what your goal is as an operation. Mm -hmm. There are benefits to both. Mm -hmm. um, I think a little bit more research could help us nail that down exactly. Though. Awesome, awesome. Hey, final question I want to talk about is flexibility. I mean, that within that window um, of being able to sort of, um, you know, terminate, how wide is it? How, how much operational room do we have? Right, so we know that once things get busy, it's hard to maybe do things, you might have a plan, but mother nature happens yep. and there's breakdowns and whatnot. 
Uh, but ultimately this project is showing that there is some flexibility for planting and you're not gonna get a yield decrease. We have a window basically of 14 days before planting to one day before planting mm -hmm. without those significant yield decreases. So uh, basically, yeah, this project is mm -hmm. showing that we do have some flexibility when in terms of rye termination prior to mm -hmm. corn planting. Okay, Olivia. Final question, that's always the yield question. What, uh, what can we learn from your plot and obviously some of the other data you have about, I guess, the overall impact of, you know, following rye with corn? So in some of the most extreme cases in our trials here, we did see up to a 20 bushel decrease. Mm -hmm. But if we're picking the right management strategies, whether that be planting pattern or herbicide mm -hmm. use, we can remain competitive and try and mitigate those yield losses within our operations. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, we look forward to your research results and uh, we also look forward to having you on the Corn School down the road. Awesome, thank you.